Hello everyone, my name is Justin Lint and welcome back <clears throat> to episode 196 of my Dungeon of the Endless Let's Play. Um, now the reason why I'm starting off on the title screen here is as much fun and entertaining as multiplayer seems as though it can be. <clears throat> Unless I'm playing with people that I actually know and I'm actually able to coordinate together with them what we're going to do. It can be rather difficult to get things done. I want to do more multiplayer, but I'll save that for another time. Um, for now, I'd just like to see how the game plays out streamlined and everything like that in a single player offline experience. So we'll start a new game here, and the reason why I say new game is with it being updated uh, from the 0.922 version or 0.9.22 version, I should say. The previous save got corrupted, which means I've found Krang, but I have not uh, unlocked them, which is unfortunate. Um, so, who do I choose here? Mm, as much as I would like to choose someone specific, actually, let's see here. So I have the infirmary pod for sure. I have the armory pod for sure. I still have this one locked. So what I might do is... Fulfill one of these achievements. Win the game with the armory. Open every door and every floor in a winning game. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is a too easy run on the armory pods so I can unlock the endless mode again. Hopefully it'll actually work this time. First of all, I shouldn't have had it not unlocked for whatever reason in the first place, but anyways, I'm not going to gripe too much about that. Let's uh, start up a new game with this setup, and let's go. Armory pod. Oh, and crash. Boom. Loading screens, I like, as I mentioned in the previous uh, episode, and we have a pretty motley crew here. Don't know what's going on with uh, Golgi's HD portrait there. It looks a little bit wonky in my personal opinion, but anyways, let's continue on here. Light up this room. Oh, right, we only have food replicators. To start off with, at the very least. So, uh, let's keep moving on here for the first little bit. So I'll probably do at least, uh... One more floor? Probably at least one more floor after this. Just to, um... Do everything that I would like to do. Especially since, how since the update, they've changed how uh, many rooms there are on floors now, which I think they said they've decreased the number by 14% every floor, which might not seem like a whole lot, but it can make quite a difference. No extra dust other than from enemies in that room. I will maybe leave Golgi behind in this room. Yeah, I'll leave Golgi behind. I just realized to reset the thing to big screen user interface. I'm not a huge fan of that, so we'll just go like that. And there we go. Much better. Much less clutter on the screen. Open up this door. We have 10 dust in our exit. Golgi Yils in there. You three keep exploring over here. We have nine dust and a item. Pea shooter added. That is useless for us. Um, so that'll be going into our backpack. Oh, I completely forgot about the fact that we start off with weapons as well. That should be something I'm not forgetting. Um, you also get a toothpick and you get a rapier. Let's light up that room. You go into there. You three make your way over here. And, uh, one thing I... I'm not sure if that's a bug or something like that, but it's... 
that pop up there seems to be covering up the dialogue box right now. Hopefully that changes by the uh, next update, which will be its release, but um, uh, shop really is our first module that we can pick up. Although actually now that I think about it, I don't think we can pick up any other ones other than the shop or uh, emergency generator. If I remember correctly, we'll leave you behind this time and crack open this door. Get eight dust. No, I'm definitely okay with that. Loki, you can sit in there and you three can make your way up here and we will, uh, what are we going to do here? Uh, yeah, we'll keep exploring here for the time being. Although, did I want to place down another generator? That was the question I was asking myself. 30 for another generator for possibly two rooms. I think I'd rather save up. Oh, wait, that's not another door? Oh. Oh, snap. I totally didn't realize that. Okay, we'll just open up this door next then. Those two were pretty much on par for speed. Find a merchant, um, and what did he say there? Scroig. Ready. Both wit and weapon are razor sharp. You trade in industry, eh? Can't really use anything that you have there. But I'll definitely sell all of these things. And that, because I can't use that anyways. Rape your... I don't know why I would keep it, but I'll... Actually, you know what? No. Sell. And, mm, no. Keep. <laughs> I keep changing my mind on that, but... Um, find some more enemies in there. Okay. Shouldn't be anything that I can't deal with, though. Enough to light up that room. That feels pretty good. Did they really reduce the number of rooms, though? Per floor, because it seems like as if I have a lot of rooms on this floor. A few more enemies again. Nothing I can't handle. Right? Yep. Definitely nothing I can't handle. And this lit up room situation. I, I think I'm okay with it. Um, who is my fastest person? First of all. 36, 43, 34, 32. So Golgi is my fastest, but also the least amount of health. Which is a bit of a problem, but nothing that I can't handle. With a little bit of elbow grease. Okay, so that's all done. I'll keep that in my backpack, and yeah, everyone else can um, pick that, or you can pick that up, everyone else can make their way into there, and we have one wave incoming so far, nothing too bad, yeah, still nothing too bad. Oh, and let's just make our way into here and, oh, I totally didn't even realize that was the click to exit button there. <sighs> Interesting. Oh, and I really like this whole animation here. Whoever built this place had a weird taste in house pets. I like that a whole lot. Um, so where are we sitting right now? Nine minutes? Yeah, we'll totally do another floor. Wait, continue dialogue? Oh. Next floor. Okay. There we go. So we'll select everyone again and go through our whole thing of uh, going through these rooms in a somewhat structured order and deal with all those guys. Do I have anyone that can operate yet? No. Not yet. Okay. Open up this door. We have another 10 dust. Wow. 
place down another food replicator in here for sure. And we'll go up here. Don't want dust or loot, just bugs. Uh, 48 science for that still, so that'll be in uh, two rooms? Two rooms. Crack open this, we find a Stella with eight. Minor modules on the floor get 20 HP regen. No, it's, it's good. Not for me, but it's good. Get three dust and nothing else from there. Really would like to find a major module slot at one of these points of times, like right now. Build another food replicator to increase our health gains as soon as possible. And let's maybe crack open, uh, or not crack open, but start research on the shop. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that that's what I'm going for. Okay. Let's uh, maybe continue up this way. For the time being, at least. We find a few more baddies. Golgi, you can stay behind for the time being. We'll continue up here. Another dead end. With another seven dust. That is awesome. And a endless artifact that I will most likely not be uh, making use of. 32 science for a science creator one. Expensive, but worth it? I think so. Let's make our way over and open up this door next. What do we have in here? We have the shop unlocked for one thing already. That seemed a little fast to me, but I'm not complaining at the same time. You trade in food, eh? Well, let's, uh... What should we do with this? Um, unlocks repair. Ooh, I really like the text for uh, that. Really set, or differentiates uh, what's actually being unlocked with that. Um, what defense HP regen? Defense attack power. Defense attack power. You know what? I think I'm going to do something like uh, this. Scroig, you get the surviving kit. I like the sound of that. And then... Golgi. DPS 110. Defense 23. Uh, you actually already have pretty decent defense and DPS. It's just your health that's sort of lackluster there. So I'm actually kind of tempted to give uh, these things to these guys. Uh, so maybe you get mill spec bracelets and you get frag grenade? Sure. There we go. I like this setup. Um, okay. Wait, was there any reason why I lit up that room instead of that one? Oh right, that had the Stella in it, so we'll, we'll just go like that for the time being. I think I will place down one more food replicator here. That's very odd that that's so small in there, but oh well. Oh, right, and I was also going to check what I could research here. Um, oh, I knew it already. Science Crater. What am I thinking? Oh, my goodness. Okay, open up this door. I don't see why humans enjoy ex exploration. Because it's fun, man. Don't you get it? Um, Hopbot will stay behind in this room. And then Scroig will continue exploring in this direction. Oh, boy. So many dead ends, not nearly enough dust for what I'm encountering right here. Okay, are we in the clear for everyone making their way into here? I think so. 
So I just need... Yeah, there's the one dust I was hoping for. Um, how do I want to continue about this? I think you go in there. You go in there and you stay in there and then you go explore over here. It'll be a first line of defense, a fairly strong first line of defense. Please no hostiles. Or if there are hostiles, it's not anything overly dangerous like what we just encountered here. And then deal with this crystal. Oh, come on. C come on. Okay, there we go. Now, things start getting a little bit more dangerous. So I'm going to have to start having more rooms unlit than I would like. Okay. There's not enough to light that up still. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, everyone else can make their way over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna have to have you go into here, please. So that way we can save all the things. And... Oh. Oh, no. I almost didn't see that. Thankfully, we now have someone with repair. And, uh... <clears throat> How did I have things set before? That, that, and that for the time being. And then... This could very well be the last door, so should I spend more food? Or more industry on food. I don't think it's a terrible idea. Because every one of these gets me an extra three food. And it won't make a huge difference. And it is the last door. Okay. So I, I'm actually glad that I decided not to do that. And do we have any enemy waves spawning in? No, we do not. Okay, excellent. And I will start having everyone make their way over here. And just finish off these few crystal guys here, and we are good as gravy. I don't know why gravy, but that's the way I am going to say that statement right there. Um, everyone but Golgi goes into here. Golgi, you pick up the crystal, as per usual, now, for this run, that is. And we will have everyone else escort you off of the floor. I bought everything from the shopkeeper, so there's no worries about that. And we will just make our way off to the next floor. Four heroes are ready. And uh, let's see the dialogue here. Nothing's trying to eat me. <laughs> well, that's good. You're on the top of the food chain, I guess, right there. And uh, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, Feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot and shows that you want to continue watching this series. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you can always click the link in the description to subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload any new content, whether it's of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always, everyone, have a good one and keep enjoying this sweet-ass uh, elevator music. Yep, that'll do it for this episode.